man what's poppin people big lunch here with another video dude i've been so excited for this game that we're about to look at dude ever since they announced it what was it like a year two years ago dude i've just been so hyped waiting for new information to come out uh i don't know if y'all know this but aside from fighting games i'm a big league guy i'm i'm addicted to that game dude and uh I'm in love with the lore, the story, the characters. They're all fucking, they're all super dope. So I was super excited when they uh, announced they were doing a fighting game with these characters in this universe. So we finally got some more information, right? They just wrapped up their big like arcane event and uh, they uh, they hit us with some, with some gameplay. So let's check it out. Let's see if it's popping. Let's see if uh, it's worth the hype, all the hype that I put into it at least. Hey everyone, I'm Tom, executive producer at Project L. And I'm Tony, Project L's technical lead. Last time we talked, I let you in on the secret that we're building a fighting game my here. My boy Sage, my boy Tasty Steve. We showed you a Steve. brief glimpse of gameplay and said we'd be going dark for a while, but we'd share more when we're ready. Well, a lot's changed since then. We've made some great progress, and while the game is still too far out to commit to a release date, it's been a bit since you heard from us. So I want to bring up the speed it looks on what cool. we've been working on. So it looks cool. From Let's the see. beginning, we knew that we wanted to make a 2D fighter set in the universe of Runeterra. But the 2D fighting space is pretty broad. Even from that starting point, there were a ton of different directions we could take the game. After lots of exploration, we're excited to say that we've landed on a direction that we're pretty pumped about. In this quick update, we'll walk you through our high-level approach when it comes to core gameplay, character design, and netcode. But first, allow me to reintroduce Project L. Project L, baby. My boy Echo, my boy Jinx, my girl Jinx on me. This looks weird. Oh, it's a tag game. Oh my God. Is this Marvel? Project L will be an assist based fighter you'll build and pilot a team of two different champs. 2v2? I feel like this is the right foundation to build a game that rewards strategic team building and on-the-fly decision-making on top of strong fighting fundamentals. Our goal is the to build stop a game is really noticeable a fast-paced, this... dynamic combat fantasy while leaving plenty of room for you to be creative and express yourself in gameplay. Like a lot of you out there, we're inspired by the insane outplays, hard reads, and 200 IQ plays behind some of the most iconic moments in fighting game history. The dream for us is to deliver a game. Oh my the god, you let him go! New iconic moments let him for fall. Years to come. Now let's talk about God games. damn the super juggles. I know that a lot of you have strong opinions about mechanical difficulty in fighting games. For Project L, we're embracing the easy to learn, hard to master mentality. Okay. So yes, we are making it easier to jump in with a new character and learn their basic kit. I like that the said, we this like the animation style, the art style, style looks really cool. Really, deep on it looks really like providing opportunities like for you to showcase your you know? hand mastery. One of the delights of fighting games is seeing top players move. Oh my god, this boy Darius is a big boy. And distinct from oh my god, players. with the rocket you assist. You want to set that aspirational summit and build a steadily increasing difficulty curve to get you there. This isn't about building a game where new players have a chance to be the pros. It's about unlocking the fun at all skill levels. Okay. Character design, of course plays a huge role in this. For characters, our goal is to deliver on the iconic moves that League champions are known for, but adapted to work in a fighting game. We want our champs to have powerful, flexible kits that give you the freedom to play your character That's your dope, way. boy. I'm gonna be playing Echo. As an example, playing a lot of I'm Echo. thrilled to introduce you to Echo, re-envisioned for Project L. Echo is a punk genius. He's a brilliant inventor who, through time manipulation, it looks fast. can find his own mistakes and stay one step ahead of his opponent. The centerpiece of Echo's kit is his Chrono Strike. It's a forward moving slash, that's a pretty good poke and a combo ender. Okay, that's dope. When Echo slashes with Chrono Strike, he generates an after image that he can rewind back to any time in the next few seconds. Like, uh, my boy's like, uh, my boy's like Yoon or Yang from Street Fighter. Slash, make a different choice and branch into a high committal launcher. Oh, that's dope. Echo works just fine as a mid-range zoner, but he really comes online when you take full advantage of the rewind ability. Stop. Uh, Oh my God, I can already tell. This boy is gonna be crossing me up so much. Big mix up character, that boy Echo. Oh my goodness, did you see that? I, just, I, was, I gotta rewind it, I'm sorry. I gotta rewind some of these cross ups, dog. First slash, make a different choice and branch into a high commitment. Look at this shit. 
Echo works just fine as a mid range. Could you? Oh, he could have went really higher low there. I've already know it. Oh my goodness. Ability. He can vary the timing of the rewind to mix up his opponent, recover for assist attacks made by his teammates. Oh my god. And in the right hands, rewind can also be a strong combo extender. And then there's time. He looks winding. dope. Echo's time grenade. Okay, this is Time a little projectile. Works great for basic zoning and combos. The real payoff comes when you're able to throw a time winder from range, giving wow. you a chance to charge up and explode into a time distortion field. That's that's a that that's a cool projectile. That's a cool projectile. Match. For both of these moves, our approach is to give you a tool with a clear primary role, but with lots of potential for extra utility when you use it in the right situation. Now, while gameplay is obviously super important. High quality net code is essential for any- Yes, sir, hit me with the rollback. So this is an area where we're investing big. I'm gonna turn it over to Tony and he'll walk you through some of our networking foundations. Please tell me they got rollback. Netcode has been a top of mind topic in the FGC for the past year, especially since we haven't been able to gather for live events. For Project L, we've designed our entire networking stack to deliver the same highly responsive gameplay that you'd get playing offline. Of course, this starts by using rollback networking at the core. Yes, rollback sir! Yes, sir! That's what I'm talking about! We've also developed a new networking model that enhances the benefits of rollback with core technology developed by other games at Riot. Ooh. We'll route network traffic between players through Riot Direct, our internal network already being used to minimize latency in League of Legends and Valorant. We're also actively managing a That's player's dope. connection to their opponent to ensure a consistent, fair play experience. If their connection is laggy or drops packets, their experience will suffer, but yours won't. Okay, that's really dope. You know, I heard that, well, uh, there's this people talking about how they were working with like GGPO and like, you know, people who had previous experience working with like rollback and implementing it and stuff like that. So I, I, I kind of already knew that the, the online experience was going to be like good, but you know, Riot Games, they have other games that uh like Valorant and such that where the the online experience has to be good so it it makes sense that it was going to be a priority for them uh to to do this but it is so it is such a uh a breath of fresh air to to hear that they're trying to do rollback and stuff like that dude it really is the future of just online experiences playing Guilty Gear Strive and experiencing how it was it's like bro it's so good it's so good and i know like right it only improving with the technology and man right riot games definitely has the budget and the the staff to be able to work on this shit and make it like even better so super excited i'm gonna be playing the fuck out of this game dude so many online matches and if someone rage quits in the middle of a match our net code will determine who should win and who should be penalized that's good too we're taking net play very seriously for project l it's the primary Zombie way making people rage quit, you the game internally and we're working every day to make sure it's in top shape for the eventual release. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek at Project L. That Before was dope. We go, I want to remind you that our game is still in R&D. We're happy with how core combat is shaping up, but there's still a ton of work to do. Thanks so much for your patience while we take our time to make sure that we get this right. So that's all for now. Last time we spoke, Project L went dark afterwards, but this time we'll do our best to keep in touch when we have major news to share. That's dope, that's dope, Thanks a lot. that's dope. Thank you. That's dope. Yeah, because, man, last time they talked about it, they just completely went silent, dude. But, man, that is that is super dope to see. This, your way. I'm not going to lie, like, as an example, I'm you can definitely tell it's in its early stages. The time you, you can definitely tell just based off this gameplay, like, like, you can see it's a little bit slower. There's a lot of hit stop. It's probably like small stuff that they're going to change. But, man, it looks dope. It definitely looks dope. That is so sauce, man. Darius already looks like, man, he's going to be like the sole bad guy of this game, dude. Everybody's going to be playing Darius. I can tell. Man, this art style is clean, though. It, it really is clean. It kind of like gives me like, like, I don't know if y'all ever play like a Telltale game or like a Borderlands game. It kind of gives me that kind of vibe, but it's not like super duper cell shaded. It's You know what I mean? It's like no crazy outlines. But it definitely like gives me like this art, this comic book pop out kind of vibe, which is dope. It's clean. Man, the boy Echo looks smooth. The stage is dope too. The stage is nice and simple. You know what I'm saying? None too crazy. None too, uh, too like, you know what I'm saying? None too active, none too ugly. 
it looks like the background characters are moving at a lower uh, frame rate th than the foreground. Um, but it doesn't look super noticeable, which is dope. The characters do kind of pop out on against this background. This is awesome. Yeah, honestly, uh, after playing, after playing a lot of Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, and a little bit of Marvel. I can't say that I'm the super best at like tag like at tag fighters or like uh, assist based fighters, but like learning like extensions and stuff like that, it's not super hard. Especially when it came to Dragon Balls, Dragon Ball Fighters, it was not. It's not really a hard mechanic to learn. I could tell a lot of uh, a lot of beginners are gonna. It's 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 gonna be beginner friendly for sure. It's not gonna be too off putting. There's like it's crazy dude like some of the marvel combos that, that you see are like what the fuck is even happening people are punching and, and getting hit from behind where they're punching it's it's crazy it's crazy it's like it's it's very jarring a lot of like fucking spaghetti on the screen like overwhelming flashing lights and 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 signals and and you know what i'm saying but this game looks nice and simple it looks like they're kind of doing that on purpose they're holding back on like the big flashiness uh yeah i mean it's, it looks dope. I'm, I'm excited for it. I just really, really, really hope that they do good by this, this, uh, the net code. They do good by online. They said they are. They said it's going to go good. Uh, and I really, really hope that there is no one like overly broken. You know, Riot has a, they have a history of like, you know what I'm saying? Of doing a lot of patches and changing a lot of things up and, you know, reverting patches, you know, kind of being like, all over the place, right? Trying to get that balance. Whereas, you know, there's a lot of fighting games that, you know, tend to like, don't, they don't over patch, you know, they do patches like once every two, you know, two or so months or even twice, even like twice, like twice a year, like they'll do a patch twice a year or something. Like uh, Guilty Gear is a good example of that. They've only had like one major patch and, and like, uh, a, a very minor patch since the game has been out and the game's been out since uh since june so that's like half a year and we have we've already we, we don't have that many patches you know that's that kind of like mentality that, that 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 kind of philosophy when it comes to patching is like kind of good and we're like what we're used to so i'm i'm you know i'm excited to see how they do it with this game and i know that the the people behind this game are like seasoned like they've worked on games before like uh i know like previously the those two brothers uh, worked on Rising Thunder. Um, I never really got into that game and I didn't really know where it went, but I know it was one of those games that people kind of talked about a little bit. It was it was never really like too much like shade thrown toward that game, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't like the most popular game, but it wasn't like a hated game, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully this shit comes through looking nice. I know they don't got a release date yet, but uh, I could tell it's definitely gonna be next year and it's definitely i don't think it's gonna be early next year it's, it's probably gonna we're probably looking at another like summer-ish maybe late maybe late next year or maybe not i don't know we don't know exactly where where they are uh as far as how far along this game is um i remember when Val when they were when riot did valorant they kind of dropped it way earlier than everybody was expecting it to drop so we'll see but yeah i'm super excited for this Super, super excited. You're definitely gonna be catching me play this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks simple and it's with characters I fuck with like Echo. Oh my God. I'm gonna devote myself to learn Echo. I I don't care what anybody says. I promise you, I am devoting myself to learning this character because man, he is just such a cool character. I play him in, I play him in League. I play him in League. He's dope in that game. He's just, it's overall clean, so. Yeah, feature Echo, man. I might as well just tat up the channel right now with Echo because uh, you're going to be seeing me go crazy. But anyways, if you like the video, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video. It helps the channel grow. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think of this game. Let me know if y'all fucking with it. Let me know if y'all want to see more of this in the future on this channel. Peace.